Welcome to a GCN indoor training session. We're in this session, we're gonna ride up the Paso Jao and do some functional threshold efforts too. Longer, set, um, longer intervals, they're 20 minutes each, but you're popping up to threshold and then down again within the longer effort. And just five minutes between to recover. Ouch. Yeah, I know they're gonna hurt, but you're really gonna benefit from them, especially on your sustainable power and your FTP and yeah, your good base yeah. fitness. This is exactly the kind of thing you can do really well on an indoor trainer. I'm riding on uh, Duretto. And and I've uh, gone for the Drevo too, yeah, so. Yeah, and that's quite good because obviously for 20 minutes you want to be uninterrupted. So on an indoor trainer, you don't need to worry about lights, traffic, junctions, downhills that redu reduce your effort. So it's just perfect, really. So we've got seven minutes of warm up. Start out pretty easy, but you want to get progressively harder. Should be breathing pretty hard by the end of the warm up. And um, make sure you start out the session with plenty of water. You might want to gel for halfway through. It's quite a long session, 56 minutes. And those intervals are pretty long. So you can take a gel in the five minute recovery between the two efforts. And just to talk you through it, for 20 minutes, you're gonna do one minute zone four, and then three minutes of zone three. One minute zone four, three minutes zone three. And you do that five times over. So the, uh, the whole block's 20 minutes. And within that block, you're going up to your threshold for a minute and then just below it. Zone three is kind of ride all day type tempo, but it's not recovery. So this is the kind of session that trains your energy systems to recover better, which is perfect for both road races. And you know, it should make zone three feel pretty easy. And, uh, trains you at riding in zone four when you're feeling pretty tired. So take advantage of that warm up to really get your legs moving well. Feel good on your bike, feeling yeah. good on your bike. Start to raise that heart rate. So get your body ready, your blood flowing around the body. Yep. And we're gonna talk you through the session in terms of perceived effort. If you have a power meter, then that's really useful because you will know obviously what your threshold is and what you want to ride at. And of course, if you've got a smart trainer, you can pre-program these efforts in advance so the trainer provides the resistance. Uh, if not, just change gears and make sure you're in the right gear, ready to roll when the interval starts. Yeah, it is worth noting we are on board with Chris Opie. On the um, Paso Jao. On the Paso Jao in the beautiful Alta Badia region. Yep. Paso uh, Jao is pretty steep in real life, so yeah. his uh, cadence will be pretty low at times, I reckon. I'm that ride on the right, if you're wondering who <laughs> is riding next to Opie there. We did this in the uh, September time, where yep. sun was shining, blue sky was out. Yeah, it was actually a beautiful day. It's not so beautiful today, so... Uh, no, yeah, I'm quite appreciating <laughs> so, the, yeah. the, the blue skies on the, on the screen to remind me of summer. It's, yeah, I don't much like riding in the dark and the cold, although... It's, Good to do occasionally, but of course you can do this kind of session indoors in the summer too. Like I was saying, it's it's very useful to have a totally controlled environment to do intervals like this. So you can focus on the quality of your work and not worry about traffic and road conditions. In fact, this is the kind of thing I would do on my time trial bike on the turbo. Ouch. Think about raising that heart cadence. It's 85 RPM on the screen, but you can go above that just to make sure you're spinning them legs out, getting ready for the efforts. You've got just under three minutes left of your warm-up. Right. Should be slightly out of breath in the uh, zone four effort, so I might be struggling to tell you what to do, but luckily instructions on the screen should talk you through it. So watch out for those. If I can't breathe well enough to count us out of the, of the one minute zone four efforts, then uh, please excuse me. If you would like to do some few surges, Yep. You may, but just do remember that we are going to be putting longer efforts. They're not the short, hard efforts that you need to be super warmed up. 
so just a spin out or even a little, a little bit of resistance on. Yep. Just yep. to really get the muscles ready, really. Definitely. And of course, if you're going on heart rate, remember your heart rate will drift up through the effort, so don't expect it to be to respond immediately to when you ramp up the effort or, or need to go down in zone three much because you won't be recovering. Remember when it comes to the terminology, the threshold is in theory the power you can sustain for an hour. For a lot of people though, will never have tried to ride for an hour to test it, so there are shorter tests to determine your threshold. But basically, think of it like a solid time trial effort. So if you were to ride as hard as you could for an hour, that's the power you want to be aiming for, for these one minute efforts. Zone three, which is the three minutes in between, that's that's riding all day pace, but it's not easy. It's riding all day pretty hard. So think of it like you can, you know, you can say a few words, but you aren't feeling chatty in zone three. Well, maybe James is. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You're always pretty chatty. <laughs> yeah, remember to select the right gear. So we've got 40 seconds to go. Yep, so I'm going to want to be in the big ring. And uh, remember to hit start and if you... Um, if you pre-programmed your smart trainer to put the uh, resistance on for these intervals for you. Just under 30 seconds now. You yep. should be sufficiently warmed up. Oh, getting yep. scared. I'm going to count you in, so we're going to start with one minute zone four. Starting in 10 seconds. Press lap on your head unit if you need to. Three, two, one, and you're off. So, oh, just made an attack. This is about eight out of ten in terms of effort. So, not flat stick, but definitely feeling it. And I'm gonna stop talking. Use the screen so you can try and stick on my wheel. Take Chase. your mind off your power. Chase James. You can see it's pretty steep, so a lot of time is spent out of the saddle on these efforts. Ten seconds to go. And two, one. Knock it back to zone three. So this is seven out of 10 in terms of effort. We're not recovering, We're just sustainable. Things sustainable now. So it's not gonna feel nice because after that effort, I'm gonna take it easy, but tough. This is what it's all about. Concentrate on controlling your breathing now. If you got a bit out of breath on the one minute effort. Really think about deep, slow breaths here. Should be able to catch your breath, even if your legs are complaining a bit. Make sure you keep it in zone three. Let's get the most out of the effort. I do apologize, I was wrong. It's four minutes zone three, not three minutes zone three. Oh well, that means fewer, fewer zone four efforts. So, Two and a half minutes to go. That's zone three. Focus on your cadence. A good one to stick out is around 95 RPM. Halfway through your zone three now for this block.
Don't be afraid to sweat in this session. It's only to be expected, I think. Oh yeah, for sure. You gotta get a good sweat on. Keep you sane. Not long left of zone three now. Just keep pressing on them pedals. Try and focus on that cadence. Keep that cadence up. Under a minute now. Doing good, keep it up. Take some liquids on board. Thirty seconds to go. Have you had the zone three effort? Yeah. Remember what comes next is one minute at zone four. So one minute at threshold should feel pretty tough but sustainable. And that one minute is about eight out of ten in terms of effort. Five seconds. Three. three two. two. One. One. And you're off. You can see James on the screen there. Plugging away. Looking good. So it's down to 90 RPM. But more power needed. Received effort around eight. Halfway. Keep sitting on my wheel there. Chase him, chase him. You dropped Opie. Nice work. I'm trying to. <laughs> Ten seconds. Squeeze. Squeeze it out. Five. Four, two, one. And not Back recovery, remember? Three. Back down to zone three. So, still a solid effort. A bit easier to talk, or might take you a while to get your breath back. So, zone three should normally feel pretty okay, but when you're just on an effort, it feels a bit harder. And this is great for training, for recovering, even when you're not pedaling easy. So, good four minutes in zone three, coming up. It's amazing how long four minutes feels like, eh? Oh. Although not as long as 30 seconds feels when you're sprinting. <laughs> Focus on that condition, keeping your body firm, your core strong. Make this hour count. Super time efficient training, obviously. Feel free to get out of the sun if you need to, like Emma is now. Just love riding out the saddle. <laughs> Any excuse. Try and keep that 95, 95 RPM.
minute and a half to go, come on. Keep seeing that zone three. Perceived effort of around seven. Keep that heart rate up. See Emma aren't talking much. Yeah. yeah, you should be able to talk in zone three, but kind of running out of stuff to say. Yeah. But James, you keep talking. Keep taking on those fluids. Liquids. Yeah, don't forget to drink. It's always good to have like an electrolyte tab in there if you need. Stay hydrated. Because you'll be losing liquids rapidly. Yeah, I so always end up massively dehydrated after after so a make turbo sure session. Make Keep topping it up. 30 seconds to go. And we're going straight back into zone four, so straight back into threshold. And coming up to halfway through this block. So think about that. Another 10 minutes to go. Same again, basically. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and zone four. And there goes James again. Oh, you yeah, were totally kicking OP in this <laughs> session. Try. Chase James's back wheel for a minute. Don't overdo it, but just think about it. Eight out of ten, effort-wise. Halfway. Ten seconds to go, nearly. And now, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one, and back in zone three. Yep, four minutes in zone three. Knock down a gear, maybe. Mate, I'm going small ring. I don't have it. For the cadence I want to ride, I'm going to have to go in the small ring. I'm so sorry. Ah, it feels good for you. Remember, it's your own effort. Yep. You're doing really well. Keep pressure on them pedals. Over halfway now through this block. So. Great quote. Comes from, I think Lance said it actually. Pain is temporary, quitting lasts forever. Everyone says it these days though. <laughs> yep. <coughs> One of the advantages of a slightly tough training session is how good you feel afterwards. Yeah, all those endorphins. Yeah, addictive. But still, better than some addictions, right? Yeah. Three minutes below. And 95 RPM. So two minutes to go in zone three. Feel free to mix up your positions. Remember your body likes variety. So keep switching it up. Minute half to go. Doing really good. 
Keep focusing. You will reap the benefits after a good session like this. Yeah, it's a very solid effort. Did you do these kinds of efforts on the road or the trainer when you were racing? I, d I did a lot on the road. Yeah, same. But in the, uh, the days of rain and yeah. wind and snow, just to get inside, set up a turbo, yeah. not worry about anything. Yeah, there's no excuses on the turbo, right? No, exactly. Put good music <laughs> yeah. on. I used to try and do these, do these kind of efforts on the road. I could get a slight uphill like this one, like the jowl. Not, maybe not steep and get stuck in, but I kind of wish I'd trained like this more on the turbo, even in summer. I think it, it's very beneficial in terms of controlling all the variables and like, yeah, no excuses, time efficient, get straight off and recover at the end. Right, we're coming into the last of the zone four minutes for this block. So think about it, nice solid effort. Don't sprint, but my solid threshold, eight out of 10 for one minute, which you can definitely do. So counting down, five seconds, three, two, one, and you're off. It's back so on my wheel again. Chase James's back wheel. Through the tunnel. Remember, it's perceived effort eight out of ten. Keep pushing. Coming up, ten seconds to go. Ten to go. Near there. Five, four, three, two, one. Knock it back to Buck zone three. Off. Remember, it's not recovery yet. Zone three, so slightly higher cadence. Think about your form. Should be feeling pretty tired now. Seven out of ten effort. You've got almost four minutes left till this block is over. And then you do get recovery. Yeah, you should definitely be feeling it now. We certainly are. minutes left. Keep pushing. No, it's hard. It's hard for absolutely everyone if you're doing it properly. Training doesn't get easier. You just get faster. You just get faster. <laughs> Unless you retire and then training gets easier. Woo yeah. No, then everything just feels harder. <laughs> Focus on that breathing, deep Two breaths. Two minutes to go. Pushing. Not long left now. Keep that form. 
keep that core solid. Push this last minute out. In zone three. Forty seconds coming up to. Thirty seconds. Come on now. Really push it hard. Still able to talk though, just about zone three. Don't overcook it, remember. Got five minutes to recover. And then got another 20 minute block. Just the same. Ten. Five. <laughs> four. Three. Two. One. And now a proper recovery. Down in the small ring. Well, I was in the small ring already. Just spinning out. Five minutes. Catch your breath. Wipe your face. Grab a, grab a drink. Not too much. So, 20 minutes. Feels like a long time to be doing an effort for. Just in my opinion. And, uh, Tell you what really helps is having a view of a mountain. <laughs> yeah, it is lovely. The jowl is pretty spectacular. And first off, is pretty much all in the trees, as you can see. And then so shortly, I think we're going to be coming out of the forest onto the sort of upper plateau, which is sort of rolling, slightly more open area. Beautiful. Really make sure you're getting enough liquids in. Yep. Really important <coughs> to keep. A good session going. Yep. You lose so much yep. power if you are dehydrated. Yeah, it's a good idea to plan for that for the end as well. So make your recovery liquid if you can. So like some kind of recovery drink. Just drink a ton of water as well as um, well, isotonic's better for rehydrating. Drink some isotonic liquids as well as getting good healthy meal in ideally you've planned that before you started how is it that five minutes go so slowly in an effort and it goes so fast when you're doing recovery i know it's bizarre isn't it look at that lovely drone shot wow of the entire climb yeah it is beautiful those beautiful switch backs that the the dolomites can show off there Beautiful. Oh, it makes all training easier to see the mountains, I reckon. If you need a bar or a gel, it's a really good time to take it on board. Yeah, it's actually quite good training to practice at eating and then doing an effort straight away. So if you were doing a road race or a long sportive, you might not get any choice about when you have to put some effort in. So say if you had to do a long climb, if you eat on the descent, you need to practice it, digesting that whilst you're riding up the next climb. So it's actually not just good for the training session, but it's part of what you should be training, is eating for whatever you're training for. Feel free to stretch it back off, Nibu. Some, Some on the bike yoga. Two minutes left of this recovery. So just to remind you, the next block is exactly the same. It's 20 minutes. We're alternating between one minute zone four and four minutes zone three. We do that four times. Think about it as five little blocks within the, the 20 minute effort. And that zone three is not recovery. It's still pretty solid. And uh, yeah, expect to get your sweat back on.
you want to get up, saddle for a little bit, just stretch the legs off. Remember to try and stick to your effort level and a cadence that suits you. And if that means, like I've had to, using the small ring, I think my, uh, I think my Duretto is up to maximum resistance. So that means that I'm using the small ring, I'm still doing 250 watts for the, for the zone four, and about the right the cadence for me. That's absolutely fine. If you're training for you, you don't need to copy someone else. 40 seconds to go before the next effort. So think about your gears. Remember, it's a zone four effort. So it's a perceived effort of around eight out of 10. So think about that, maybe think about dropping it into the big ring if need be. Yep, and if you've got a power meter, that's around your sustainable threshold power. So what is that for you? Can I ask? Uh, it was oh. around 320, I reckon. 320, nice. It's dropped a fair bit since I was full time. Of course. Right, five seconds. I'm going to select the bigger Two, chain ring. Two, one, and you're off. Zone four for a minute. Wind it up. I think I've gone off again for this effort. Chase James. Through the tunnel. This one will hurt because he's just had a recovery. Twenty seconds left. Of your zone four effort. Remember after, the, after this, you're going to drop it down to zone three, not recovery. Four minutes at zone three. Three, two, one, into zone three. Slightly higher cadence if you can. Maybe drop it down on the back to an easy gear. And then settle back in to your zone three effort. Remember to focus on that cadence, looking for around 95 RPM. If you do have a cadence sensor. Really climbing up here now in Altamadir where the oxygen isn't that thick out there so the air is thinner, it's harder to work. So here, if you're in the sea level, around sea level you'd be getting more oxygen. Yeah, appreciate turbo. that oxygen. When you're out of breath, you can be very grateful you've got loads of oxygen. Most beautiful though, I reckon it's worth it. I'd sacrifice a bit of a bit of oxygen density for mountain views. I seem to remember Chris and I not talking much on this climb. <laughs> no, it looks like you're trying to drop him every time you do an yeah. effort. <sighs> to be fair, I mean Chris had a pretty bad experience on the Paso Jao in the Maratona. I don't think he had any fond memories of it. <laughs> Said it's the Longest and steepest pass he's ever done. But there was cake at the top, so I mean... Two minutes, under two minutes of your zone three effort, so think about your zone four effort. We're over halfway, so... Not too long left. But look at those stunning views. Now this block might feel a bit harder than the one before, 
because obviously you've got that fatigue in your legs. So this is where it really starts to count. When training starts to feel hard, then you know it's doing something. Hopefully for the better. Coming up to one minute to go. seconds left of your zone three effort. Think about that looming zone four. You might see me start to attack. <laughs> Chase James's wheel. So just try and sit on that wheel or imagine it. Five, four, three, two, one. Back. And one minute, effort level eight. Out the saddle if you need. seconds now. Keep pushing. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Back into zone three, remember. Four minutes in zone three. So it's not going to feel easy, but it feel slightly more sustainable. Get your breath back a bit. Grab a sip to drink. Good time to practice controlling your breathing. Under three minutes now of your zone three effort. Remember it's a perceived effort of seven out of 10. So very much a sustainable power. But in no way is this easy. Should only just be able to chat, really. I think we must be doing it right. Yeah. You're definitely doing it right. Good stuff. Oh, you can see the passage jar is opened out now. Getting to, towards the top. It's beautiful up here. Halfway through this zone three bit. minute and a half now and then you think about that zone four effort
A minute left now. Keep on that cadence. It's a good way to try and judge your effort. And keep you being honest with yourself. Thirty seconds. Coming up to halfway through this block, so once you start the next zone four effort, we've only got ten minutes left of work in this session. Three quarters of the way through, so nearly there, basically. All right, ten, ten seconds, seconds to go. We'll count you in. Zone four for a minute. Three, Three two. two one. one, and you're off. So think about this as your surge. But sustainable. It's threshold, not too much above it. Even if you're feeling enthusiastic chasing James's wheel, just keep a controlled, steady effort. seconds to go. Ten seconds. Five. Five. Three, two, one. Back into uh, zone three. Yeah. Do you want to bring your cadence up slightly? Effort down to seven out of ten. Catch your breath. Get some liquids on board. Think about keeping your body under control. that pressure down on the pedals. Remember it's still part of your effort, even though it might feel like a bit of a recovery compared to his own four efforts. Shouldn't feel like a recovery, it should feel pretty tough. And yeah. I think these longer efforts in sessions are really good for keeping honest because you know sometimes it's easy to think well with a few really short sharp efforts, some hit sessions you can get fit but you need the longer intervals as well. This kind of session really shows up if you've got any weaknesses in your threshold endurance. It starts to hurt, but really pays off as well. Perfect for doing on the trainer. No excuses. I won't mind seeing a coffee at the end of it though. Halfway through the zone three. Oh, you're going for it, James. Coming up for the top now. Not long left. Doing really well now. Did you run out of climb on this? You had to carry on past the top. I think we did, actually. Yeah. Too fit, you guys. Too strong. Our competitive nature. Yeah. Coming up to a minute left of this zone three effort.
keep sitting on that cadence if you can. If you can't, then maybe drop it down a gear. Yep, that's me. <laughs> right, coming up to the last zone four effort. Just a minute. Anyone can do a minute in zone four, right? Yeah, Even exactly. if you're feeling tired. This is where it really starts to count in the session when you feel maybe not quite so good. When you can get the effort out then, it really pays off. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And one minute zone four. Chase James's wheel. halfway keep sitting for that perceived effort level of eight ten five four three two <laughs> one wait oh, it's zone three. the timing's all out <laughs> Even James is getting tired. This is good to see. Huh. He is human after all. Right, knuckle down for the last four minutes. It's only three. Good solid effort. It's not recovery, remember. That comes afterwards. Four minutes at the pace you can hold all day. But it feels a bit harder now that you've done some threshold efforts. On the plus side, get to watch the beautiful Paso Jao passing you by. a glorious day. Is that the day you got sunburnt? Yeah, I think it probably was. <laughs> Oops. Coming up to the top now. Last three minutes of effort. You can do it. Push yourself that bit more. Motorcyclists around the Dolomites at that time of year. Yep. Paso Jao, of course, it's the, the, probably the toughest pass you'd do if you did the Maratona, the longest, the longest course in the Maratona. Dolomiti comes quite a long way in. We've already had a few solid climbs, and it's a good solid 10k. Pretty steep, and uh, Chris blew up on it in the Maratona. Yeah. Looks like you pretty much gave him another day of <laughs> suffering on it this time. You must hate that place. to a minute and a half left. Not long now. Nice and solid. a minute now. Last little bit. Keep being honest with yourself. Just to try and stick in that perceived effort seven. Keep 
keep control of your breathing. Nice deep breaths. Keep your core nice and stable. Think about how you're riding. 30 seconds to go. Coming out to the last 10 seconds. James is going to count you out. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice work. Four minutes to cool down. Pretty short. Just spin your legs out as much as you can. You might want to wipe your face if you're as sweaty as me. Oh, I definitely felt that, Emma. Ooh. Yeah. Like I was saying, there's nowhere to hide in a 20 minute effort. You can't bluff it. It really shows up if you haven't done much like threshold endurance stuff. Make sure you're getting those liquids back on board. You have lost a fair amount in an effort like that on the turbo. So really make sure you're putting them back on board. Getting back rehydrated is really important. This warm down is essential. I know it might not feel like much, but it is essential to be for your recovery. And you don't want that like soreness and stiffness. This will help that. So spin out on the with the legs. So our effort level three out of ten. So not totally nothing. You need a bit of resistance on the pedals. Yep. Effort level about three out of ten, so it's not nothing. You need a bit of resistance on the pedals to uh, to really make your legs work just a tiny bit. Spin out all that effort. But it's a pretty solid session actually. 40 minutes of work in just a 56 minute session. It's not bad, very time efficient. Like I say, that's kind of the bread and butter of a time trial training program. It'd be pretty handy too if you were planning on riding some sportives. Nice solid effort over quite a long time. Loads of people can ride hard for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, but being able to pace up a climb like that and just going up to threshold and then just below and up to threshold and below, that really helps to train your body to be able to recover while you're still working rather than just going flat stick and then easy, easy, easy. So when you're climbing, obviously, you can't go super easy. So important one to train this. I'm glad it's over though. Definitely yeah. coffee time. Yeah, for sure. A bit of food after this. Oh, it's a really good session though, and you really will see the benefits when you get back out on the road. Bear in mind that any session with this much work is pretty tiring as well, so unless you're used to backing up hard sessions, you probably want to have a Slightly easier day tomorrow. Uh, Under a minute left of your warm up now. Warm down. Cool down. Cool down. I I'm still not feeling very cool. After a few minutes, still too hot. You should see your heart rate, if you are wearing a heart rate monitor, start to come down now. It won't go right back to your resting heart rate because your body is still trying to cool yourself down. Yeah. But. Uh, it will for sure, you should see a drop. Going over the top now, I think Chris and I were pretty happy to see the finish. Yeah, you him, timed it perfectly, look at that. Him more than me, probably. Bit of a spin. Went over the top look now. Look at that view. A little warm, look warm down. That view of those cliffs, that's the Falsarego ahead, I guess. So just a little bump up and then long descent down to Alta Badia. Yeah. Beautiful, right, hope you've enjoyed this. Give us a big thumbs up if so, and you can click on James if you want to see some more training sessions like this. Yeah, see us sweat even more. <laughs>